Shall we, we proceed? And uh, we now we said the Hakim or the Qadi uh, has the full power over this person or the bankrupt person's money, and he has to distribute it over the uh, the lenders. Uh, in this situation, there's an order. Okay, there's an order who gets money first. And what situation? يقول ابن قدامة رحمه الله يبدأ بمن له أرش جناية من رقيقه فيدفع إلى المجني عليه أقل الأمرين من أرشها أو قيمة الجاني. This first situation is something that is that we don't deal with. All right, these days we don't deal with, and that has to do with uh, having slaves, and your slave attack someone. And uh, what happened is the damage more than the value of the slave. Whatever it is, you pay the less. This is something we, we don't deal with, so inshallah we, we don't have to talk much about it. قال ثم بمن له رهن. Then the next person who gets his money, or who has the priority to get his money paid off, is someone who supported or who backed up his uh, loan or his debt with run with collateral all right with collateral in this situation okay if I for example uh, I'm the one that they freeze my money and they want to distribute it to the uh, to the people I owe and one of the these people when he lent me the money or when he sold me the car financing or whatever the situation he said this is that $5,000, but I want you to give me a collateral, a guarantee that you're going to pay it. So we give a collateral, let's say, my apartment. Another person lent me $5,000, but he doesn't ask for collateral. All right? The person who there is on the loan or on the debt, there is a collateral, has priority to get paid before the person who doesn't have collateral. All right? Now, how much do we pay him? We look at the value of the debt and we look at the value of the collateral. Whatever is less is what's paid. So for example, if he lent me $5,000 and my apartment is worth $100,000, how much we pay him? $5,000. Sometimes collateral is more than, or rahim is more than the debt, Sometimes it's less. He just wants something. All right. So usually he gets paid. The uh, the person entitled to get paid his debt, he usually gets paid the less if he has run. All right. So from this you can see that not everyone gonna get paid the exact amount. Why? Because first he's more Exactly. In the first place, he doesn't have enough. He has less money than his debt. That's why we're going over all this. All right? But at the same time, you want to balance and you want to get people, other people, some of their, some of their money. All right. قال وله أسوة الغرماء في بقية دينه الذي لم يرح. Now, regarding the other people who have who have debt or who he owes money to, then they're all equal since they don't have collateral, all right? They're all equal, okay? قال ثم من وجد متاعه الذي باعه بعينه لم يتلف بعضه ولم يزد زيادة متصلة ولم يأخذ من ثمنه شيء Now this is the third person. Now the, the statement before is just to continue the idea of having collateral. So the first one is Arshu Jinai. The first situation, the first person who gets paid is when the slaves are involved. We don't have to worry about it. The second person who gets money, his money paid, is the one who has there was collateral in the transaction. The third person who gets paid is that equal high in general. The person that sold you something and find it's whatever yeah. he sold you. Anyway. Someone who gave you something, who lent you something who sold you something, and you still have it exactly the way it was. But there are conditions here. 
So in other words, if me again getting my money frozen and distributed, uh, I bought I bought from uh, let's say from uh, brother Zakaria here uh, a car. All right. When the judge comes and take all my assets, and the car is one of it, the car is still the same. He is entitled to get back his car. So we're done with it. Now there are conditions here. All right. First condition is bi'ayni, meaning the same thing he sold. So not he sold me a car, and I have two cars, but not his anymore. And they say, okay, I give, I sold him a car, so I take a car. I sold him uh, a Honda, I will take the Lamborghini. No. Bi'ayni. The same thing. Got it? The same one. All right? Even if it's different brand, even if it's different year, the same brand. Bi'ayni. Yeah, the same one. That is, that is the kid, that is the situation. That is why he's entitled before anyone else. Because he got what he did. The second condition is it did not increase. Ziyadat and muttasila. Now, when we talk about Ziyan al the car will not apply. But, for example, when they sell animals, okay, meaning he sold me a, a camel, and then I took care of it, and I, he sold it to me when it was a baby, I took care of it, I grow it, it's heavy now, it's worth more, then it doesn't apply anymore. We do not say, this is the same camel he gave me, so he takes it back. No, because it has different value now. I can pay more of my debt instead of just giving it back to him. All right, then you're gonna get more. So very important. And the third condition, all these conditions need to be available. The third, con if it's if it's if it's uh, possible, the third condition is he did not get paid anything. So if I bought his car and they gave him two thousand dollars then down payment, he's not entitled for that anymore. Because what you're gonna get the car and the two thousand. All right. So these are the three conditions. So that is the third person who has priority. After that, all of them. All the other lenders, okay? All the other people will be given a share based on their loan or on the debt. So if we have three people, when he I owe one of them I owe 100,000, one I owe 50,000, and one I owe 10,000. They're not going to all get the same amount, the ratio, all right? So we take my money, and the one who has 100 gets most of it, okay? The one who uh, who, who, have, who, need, who entitled for 10,000 gets one-tenth of what the guy with the 100,000 got, all right? And that is how these distribute. <coughs> Oh, the, the uh, brother Yahya asked the question before the Salah, and I said that I'll answer it in front of everyone for the benefit. And that he asked, what if someone I owe money to, and he disappeared? I don't know where he is, disappeared, ran away, wherever he is, okay? What do I do? And I want to pay it off, I want to take it off my responsibility. Usually what you do with that, you give it in chair. Give it as salah. If it happens, this person shows up one day. All right. Now you give the salah on his behalf. Right? If he shows up one day, you have two choices, or you give him two choices. Either you tell him, "I give the I give the money in salah on your behalf." So if he if he accepts that, alhamdulillah. Or he said no, then you have to give him back his money. All right? Allah, and that salah will be for you, child. All right? That is how we deal with the situation. قال وينفق على المفلس وعلى من تزم مهونته من ماله إلى أن يفرغ من القسمة. That's the question of the brother, قال ابن خدامة. And from this money, you spend on that on the bankrupt. This person that having his money distributed or divided, from his money you take or he takes what's enough to support him, support his family, and support those